All right, how about one more video today? It's Monday, the 49ers won on Sunday. It seems like you guys have an appetite for more, so we'll make it happen. I want to talk about some unheralded players on the 49ers because I feel that, especially today with my previous video about the quarterbacks, we've been discussing the star power on this team and the obvious storylines, but I'm a football hipster. I like to get a little bit further underneath the, the, the surface. So I want to talk about two guys, even though a mainstream guy is up on the picture. Uh, right there, that's Nick Bosa. I want to talk about Jawan Jennings, and I want to talk about Arden Key, because over the past few weeks, these two players have been true unsung heroes for the 49ers that I think have been critical to the current turnaround that we're seeing. Team is 5-5, five and five, entering this game against Minnesota. Nick Bosa, obviously, up there has been a huge part of it. I wanted to promote my article for The Athletic, so make sure you go check that out. Nick Bosa is better than ever, and that's huge for the 49ers and their playoff push. But you know who else has been good for the 49ers? This guy, Jawan Jennings. He's bringing what I call a chippy swagger to the team, and it's something that that 2019 49ers team had. I talked about this on the podcast yesterday. Here's the catch with Matt Barrows and... Dennis Brown, but getting kind of swag, getting momentum rolling as far as, ooh, this is a championship team. These guys feel like winners. That's like pushing a stalled car if you haven't been playing well. You, you have to get behind the car and you have to push it with all your strength and you have to get dirty to get that car rolling. Then once it starts moving five miles an hour, you can run into the driver's seat maybe 10 miles an hour, right? And you hop in the driver's seat, you could turn it on, you get it out of stall, you hit the freeway. The 49ers are still in the process of pushing that car and they probably are up to speed now so they could probably hop into that driver's seat. But the whole pushing process wasn't easy. You don't have that championship winner swag without paying your dues first. The 2019 49ers paid their dues in 2017 and 2018. This 2021 49ers team, where do you know where they're going to end up? But I firmly believe that they've been paying their dues throughout this rough stretch that we've gone through. And during that rough stretch, they lost Mohamed Sanu to an knee injury. That was their previous number three wideout. And that opened the door for second year man, Juwan Jennings. And this is a player that you love to have on your team, but you hate to play against because he's a pest. He's annoying. He blocks his ass off. You might even call him a little bit dirty if you're on the other team, but I don't think he's a dirty player. I just think that the Jaguars, when they're getting pummeled on the ground over and over again yesterday, I thought that uh, th th they, they took some exception with how hard Jawan Jennings was blocking. Obviously, Rayshon Jenkins took exception with that because Rayshon Jenkins got ejected, but you saw it in Jawan Jennings' face. I, you know, you know, it's seen from Fight Club. Tyler Durden is in the basement when the boss of the establishment finds out that he's running a fight club underneath there in the basement. And in order to earn the loyalty of all the other Fight Club patrons, Tyler Durden, played by Brad Pitt, just gets the crap beaten out of him without fighting back by the boss down in that basement. And he's like a psycho. He's He's laughing and smiling and laughing even harder, the harder that he gets punched, the more that he gets beaten up. But that earns the loyalty of the rest of the crew. It's a really alpha moment, right? Well, I couldn't help but notice that <coughs> Jawan Jennings yesterday, even though he has a history at the University of Tennessee of losing his cool, was completely within his emotions after blocking his ass off. Rayshon Jenkins got pissed off. Somehow Jawan Jennings' helmet got ripped off and Rayshon Jenkins came up and he punched Jawan Jennings in the face and Jennings was smiling and laughing the whole time. It reminded me of Tyler Durden out of Fight Club. And Jimmy Garoppolo was so fired up about this that he gave Jawan Jennings that big shove right after, you know, that, you know, a good shove, obviously he wasn't mad at him. That fired the 49ers up. It really did. And then Kyle Shanahan said, okay, good job. Put your helmet back on. So Jawan Jennings didn't have a catch yesterday. I don't even know if he's – I think he's – oh, yeah, he did. He had a catch near the goal line there on that flat pass. So he had one catch. He hasn't had a particularly big catch in a while. He had the touchdown against Philadelphia in week two. But the dirty work that he does in the run game and the 49ers, this is a run-first football team 
what those receivers do is important on the outside schematically, but from an attitude perspective, it's important. And I thought that play yesterday went a long way toward reestablishing the swag, the chippy swagger that the 49ers need to have. So any questions about Juwan Jennings? Uh, good good thing that Juwan Jennings didn't care. I'm not going to put that one up there. I, I, I like the comment, but don't want to put uh, curse words up on uh, on the screen in case we got some kids watching. And, yeah, be sure to sack the like button. Hell, yeah, everybody like this. That's good. Niners playing a lot better. Content's going to keep on rolling. We're approaching 5,000 subscribers, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Anyway, Jawan Jennings, that, that's the first underappreciated 49ers player. I think that his effort yesterday was big in the intangibles. Doesn't show up in the box score, but we talk about the missing verve, the missing energy that the 49ers had a few weeks ago. Um, well, they got the car pushed and they got the car started and they're trying to get on the freeway now and they wouldn't have been able to, to do it without some of the dirty work. And I think some of that dirty work has been performed by Juwan Jennings. You need a guy like that on your football team. So that's my first unheralded 49er that performed yesterday. Let's move to the defense. <clears throat> Arden Key doubled his career sack production over the last three games. Arden Key in three seasons with the Raiders had three sacks. In three games with the 49ers, the most recent three games, he has three sacks. So when the 49ers picked up Arden Key, it was like, okay, third round draft pick out of LSU. Didn't seem that the Raiders were ever able to, to capture the potential that he brought as an edge rusher. But the narrative was Chris Kacerik has gotten the most out of previously unproductive players before. Let's see what Chris Kacerik, 49ers defensive line coach, can do with Arden Key. And well, it took a little while, but it looks like Chris Kacerik is doing some work with Arden Key. Now, first of all, Arden is still listed at 240 pounds on the 49ers program. He doesn't look like he's 240 pounds anymore. He's, he's put on a little bit of beef. He still is on the lighter end for an edge rusher, so maybe 260, 255, 260. But uh, the extra beef actually has put Arden Key in kind of a happy zone to where I think he's just a more versatile player out there. But what's been really interesting to me is that two of his three sacks, and then the most recent two, have come lined up at defensive tackle. Now, I mean, this strategy was made famous by the 2007 New York Giants who knocked off the undefeated, previously undefeated New England Patriots in the Super Bowl. They ran an NASCAR package, right? Four defensive ends across the defensive line with the goal being to match up an edge rusher who has athleticism with interior linemen, with guards on offense. And the idea is you could blast past those guards with the speed that only really tackles are built to handle. Well, that's exactly what Arden Key has done to notch his most recent two sacks. And you can credit Chris Kacerik for that alignment. <coughs> if Arden Key weighed only 240 pounds as he's listed, I think it'd be way too much of a liability inside because even on third down, Defense, he's a 240-pounder. You run at him, right? The guard the guard will maul him. But I think since Arden Key's added a little bit of weight, he's credible enough, even on a third and six, third and seven, the 49ers can try that with him lined up inside. And most importantly, this is where the best defense is a good offense. If the 49ers hog the ball offensively, as they've been doing, running the play clock down to, to zero, really, uh, each snap, being methodical, shielding their defense, keeping it off the field, and most importantly, scoring at the end of these long drives. What's going to happen is that a rested defense is going to show up with a lead. And for the 49ers, that's perfect because you have a big lead. You can start messing around with Arden Key inside because you're not worried about the opposition running the football. Arden Key goes to work against guards. That resuscitates his career. The 49ers need a compliment to Nick Bosa. I don't care if it's inside, outside edge rusher, whatever. Arden Key can be one of those compliments, and they don't have to find it from only one guy. Arden Key could be one of them. Charles Amenahu, two more pressures yesterday, can be another one of them. <coughs> and hey, D Ford, he's missed three games. I do not know the health status of D Ford, but I do know it's a mysterious back injury and the 49ers aren't sure about it either. He's missed his three games. He can come off of IR now, rules-wise. I don't know if he could come out health-wise. Anything you get from him is found money. But the good news is if you're getting something from Arden Key, you're pretty happy if you're the 49ers. <coughs> uh, 
I think, yeah, Arden Key only had like 12 or 13 snaps yesterday. I think he'll get a few more opportunities moving forward. You earn your opportunities on this football team. So those are the two guys, Juwan Jennings and Arden Key. I don't see any other uh, questions here. You do. Please hit that like button. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to everybody pretty soon. Take care, guys.